Hey guys, this is Richie from Afro Asset Studios and we just got the System 1 VST. So we're going to take a look at how we can use it as a librarian for the System 1 synth over here and use it to save our patches and load them back up. So check this out. Hey guys, this is Richie from Afro Acid Studios and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the System 1 VST plugin. So Roland a while back had come out with the System 1 synth and then they came out with the System 1 modular synth and then following up with that they came out with the System 1 VST plugin. Um, it's a VST and an audio unit and it runs in 32-bit or 64-bit and it's mainly the exact copy of the System 1 synth in plug-in form. But it also has the added feature of being able to be a librarian for your System 1 if you already have a System 1 synth. And the plug-in costs an additional cost. It has an, uh, it costs about $150, I think. Um, but to use the librarian features is actually free. You can download the trial and it will let you use the librarian features for the whole time that you have the plugin. The only thing is if you don't register it you're gonna get um, static on the audio output um, but you can still use it as a librarian as much as you want and that will work no problem. So what we're gonna look at is actually the librarian features in the system one and how to use those and in a future video we'll look at creating sounds and things like that. So as you can see I've got the system one running as an external instrument, the synth part, and I've got also the system one VST loaded in another channel. So right here, I've got my system one with a bunch of presets in it. All right, and then we got the VST. And it already comes with a whole bunch of presets loaded in. But we can actually pull our presets off of the System 1 or send them over to the System 1. So first I'm going to create a new bank. Oh, let me first show you how to set this up. So in Ableton, whether you're using the MX1 or if you're using just the System 1 connected directly to your computer, you want to make sure that all your control ports are turned off. So you'll see here under input, I've got every control port turned off. And also on my outputs, I've got every control port turned off. The reason why you want to do that is because if you have them turned on, it, your DAW is going to lock the MIDI ports and then the plug out or the plug in can't talk to the synth and can't talk through the MIDI ports. So then in the plugin we want to go to setting and we want to point it to where our system one is plugged in on the MX1 or if you're just connected directly to your computer you'll see system one USB control or it might just say system one control. So once you've got that set you'll go to your patch You'll create a new bank and then you'll hit get all. And you'll see that it'll start to download all your patches. And if this is the first time you've done this, some of your patches might not have any names or some of them might have weird names um, from copying patches back and forth. But, um, it should load them up and then you should have your patches in the plugin. So let's see how this worked out. Now sometimes they don't sound just right so if you just kinda change off of them and change back. Yeah sometimes it just doesn't work right I don't know why. But if we get it working if it doesn't work right, what you could do is just hit get while you have that preset loaded. 
and it will load that preset in. And sometimes that just fixes the little problems that it had. Now that sounds right. Let's look at it on the synth and then on the plugin. It's exactly the same. So, like I said, it does get a little buggy. I don't know if it's because I got it going through a USB hub and going through the MX1 and all that. Uh, I haven't I had much time to mess around with it, but just hitting get will dump it down. And then you can actually rename them. So, if you hit the arrow next to it, since this is from uh, my track, The Storm, I can just hit the storm, lead, and then I can actually send it back to the system one. And now the next time that I load it into system one, whether it's on this or my laptop, I'll have the names on there. So that's really just the uh, core uses of using it as a librarian. Like I said, you can have a bunch of different banks. The system one itself will load, um, you can load 64 patches into it. To, do, to switch between them, you hold down the system one button and then you can change your banks and then you can change which plugin you're using or which patch you're using. Now let's see if that loaded over. Okay, so see, it's got something with the crusher that seems to be coming over. So now the other fun thing that you can do with this is you can actually use the System 1 as a controller for the synth. So you'll see that I've got this patch in here. And we can just hit get to make sure that it matches what's on what we had saved in here. And now you'll see as I turn the knobs on here, it actually updates the knobs on the plugin. So you could design a patch using the system one, but saving it into your DAW or into the plugin. And then you'll have that to come back to if you want to. So it gives you kind of the flexibility of having a plugin, but also the flexibility of having hardware because once you've got all your patches in here and working the way you want to, you can just hit send all and it will send them right back to the system one. Or you can send them patch by patch by hitting send. And it'll have all your names in there. And like I said, then when you go to another workstation um, that has this plugin installed, you can actually bring them back. And it's a little, it's a little, there are backup and restore methods that you can do with the system one, but this is a little more intuitive than the other ways where you actually would have to load the system one as a USB drive and then copy files off and then to restore them you have to copy those files back when you load it as a USB drive. So if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments. I'm going to have some more videos coming up about using the system one plug out or just the system one synth but feel free to leave some comments make sure you subscribe and thanks for checking out the video.